So now what is the second difference between DNA and RNA? So the second difference is this, that adenine and guanine both are common to DNA and RNA. Cytosine is the only pyrimidine which is common to both DNA and RNA. But when it comes to uracil and thymine, RNA carries uracil and in the course of evolution uracil modified just like ribose sugar modified into deoxyribose sugar. So which sugar came first? Ribose sugar and it modified into deoxyribose sugar in the same manner which uh, pyrimidine uh, out of these two came first, uracil came first and uracil underwent a modification because uracil is highly reactive. So just like ribose sugar, uh, ribose sugar is reactive, uracil is also reactive. So uracil underwent a modification and it got at, uh, in, attached methyl group at its fifth position and that's why it is uh, that's why now it is called as 5 methyl uracil or also called as thymine and thymine is found in the dna so second reason why dna is non reactive or stable is the presence of thymine which is a modified form of uracil it is also that's why it is also called as 5 methyl uracil. I hope this point is clear to you. So today you have learned two major differences in the chemical structure or the structural composition of DNA as well as RNA. Now the next point is that uh, the next molecule which is present in the nucleotide is called as the phosphoric acid. So we all know how do you represent phosphoric acid H3PO4. You can even mention it in this manner. But the reality is that uh, it will develop a positive charge and the negative charge because the electrons, the oxygen has the ability to pull the electron closer to itself. So it develops a net negative charge because of which uh, you will find that the phosphate, phosphorus here will carry a slightly positive charge. So what is uh, phosphoric acid? Let's understand that there are three hydroxyl groups attached to the central phosphorus and then there is an oxygen attached to the uh, to the central phosphorus. Oxygen has the tendency to pull uh, the electron slightly towards itself so it develops a slight negative charge. So obviously the phosphorus is going to develop a net positive charge and the hydroxyl groups are available for reaction. Remember we have done whenever there is loss of water you always involve OH, OH, OH. That's why Phosphoric acid is highly reactive form because it is all these hydroxyl groups are always ready to pick up to uh, undergo condensation reaction or loss of water to develop various bonds. So phosphate group can easily join with the sugar group because sugar group also carries OH and phosphate also carries OH. So establishment of this link will cause the loss of water and remember please remember this point which I have told you. So uh, now the next thing is uh, because the next point is the establishment now if you imagine that there is a bond getting established uh, a bond okay fine we will be doing this point on the next page because I have drawn the diagrams once again just remember nucleotides become acidic due to the presence of which uh, component phosphoric acid. So today you have learned three points first is first is uh, nucleotides are the uh, basic building block or functional block of the nucleic acids. It can be either uh, the nucleotide or ribonucleotide or deoxyribonucleotide. If it is ribonucleotide, it will be uh, present in the RNA. It can be free and uh, as in the form of energy currency transfer system or it can be in the RNA. And if it is deoxyribose sugar, it will be in the uh, DNA. Now DNA is more stable than the RNA and the reasons we have learned that DNA carries the pentose sugar which is deoxyribose sugar modified from the ribose sugar. Ribose sugar is reactive because it carries an OH at the position of the second carbon. So that's why RNA is reactive and not stable and DNA is non-reactive and stable. Second difference we learned is that there are nitrogen bases. Nitrogen bases are purines and pyrimidines so they undergo substitution or modification to give rise to either adenine adenine or give rise to guanine and both are present in the DNA and RNA if it is py pyrimidine it is uh, either cytosine uracil or thymine 
Cytosine is common to both DNA and RNA. Uracil is found only in the RNA and it undergoes underwent modification to become 5 methyl uracil. 5 methyl uracil. So now it is called as thymine. Thymine is uh, comparatively stable and non reactive. That's why DNA is overall DNA is become stable and non reactive. RNA is always reactive and unstable. Then we learn that uh, the nitrogen. Apart from nitrogen bases, phosphoric acid is also present. Phosphoric acid uh, tends to develop bonds because there are three hydroxyl groups always available to undergo reactions. So all these three things join to form a nucleotide. Now, next point. Before you understand nucleotide word, the main thing to understand is something which is smaller than the nucleotide and that is called as nucleoside. So what is nucleoside? Nucleoside is an intermediate substance in the formation of nucleotides. So, nucleotides are formed only with the help of nucleosides. And remember, nucleotide is the unit of nucleic acid. So, uh, how do you distinguish these two things? Nucleotides are the basic unit of nucleic acid and nucleosides are the basic unit of nucleotides. So, nucleotides are formed from nucleoside. Now, what is the composition of nucleoside? Nucleoside is made up of pentose, sugar and nitrogen base. So when only these two things we have learned, in, on the last page we learned pentose sugar, on this page we finished the nitrogen base. When only these two things join together, it gives rise to a nucleoside and please remember base. That's why nucleosides are basic in reaction but nucleotide will also carry phosphoric acid. When these two things join, you call it as nucleoside. When these two things along with this one joins, you start calling it as nucleotide. So nucleotide is acidic in nature and nucleoside is slightly basic in nature. And uh, remember there, are, there is only one bond involved to form the nucleoside and there are two bonds involved to form the nucleotides.